Today is Monday, February 10th, and in this week's recap, stocks rally. China schedules tariff cuts, January hiring tops expectations, and a key gauge of manufacturing activity improves. Life is too short to worry about what the next headline could do to your life savings. Hi, my name is Eric Hagan, and I keep my thumb on the pulse of the economy and the markets so my clients can focus on the things that are actually important to them. Thank you for joining me the next few minutes on today's weekly economic video update. Stocks advanced four days out of five during the past market week, erasing the losses of the week before. The NASDAQ composite surged 4.04%, the S&P 500 up 3.17%, and the Dow Jones Industrials Average 3%. Foreign stocks also rallied. The MSCI EFI index added 2.21%. Thursday, investors woke up to the news that China would be lowering import taxes on about $75 billion of U.S. products. Later this week, a set of 10% tariffs is slated to drop to 5%, and a group of 5% tariffs is scheduled to drop to 2.5%. This reduction is part of the Phase 1 trade deal that China agreed to last month, a pact which may be a step toward a trade truce with the U.S. The Department of Labor's latest employment report exceeded expectations. Economists surveyed by Bloomberg projected 165,000 net new hires last month. The main jobless rate ticked north to 3.6%. The U6 rate, including the underemployed, rose 0.2% to 6.9%. This upside surprise points to ongoing strength in the economy. Stocks declined Friday after the report's release, however, as traders viewing the data saw less reason for a Federal Reserve rate cut in the near future. The U.S. factory sector grew last month for the first time since July. The Institute for Supply Management's Purchasing Managers Index for the manufacturing sector, which traders view as a fundamental economic indicator, came in at 50.9 in January. Any reading above 50 indicates sector expansion. And looking ahead, investors should note that U.S. stock and bond markets will be closed on Monday, February 17th for President's Day. And as such, our offices will be closed as well. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. To learn how I give my clients life savings the attention it deserves, visit me online at www.erichagan.pro. If you'd like to get financially organized, go check out nocostfinancialdashboard.com. And lastly, if you'd like to take control of your 401k at work, visit us over at 401kinvestmentpros.com. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.